On top of the physical symptoms of non-communicable diseases, there are extra burdens on an individual. Whilst countries such as the UK have the NHS to provide free healthcare, which the government pays for, people in some other countries may have treatment costs. Disease may lead to absence from work, and missing work may mean you have a reduced income and miss out on career opportunities. People with non-communicable diseases may have uncomfortable or painful symptoms, a lower quality of life or a shorter lifespan, and these can lead to major stress and mental health decline. This can be a strain on the individual and those close to them. What about on a larger scale? There may also be costs to local communities and on a national and global level. So there are social and economic impacts of disease. You could be asked to discuss the human and financial cost of non-communicable diseases you've studied to an individual, a local community, on a national level, or even on a global level. So it's important that you know some examples. So let's start by having a look at some of the impacts on a local level. High levels of obesity, smoking or alcohol consumption in one area may put pressure on local resources. It requires time and money to provide healthcare and this may put a strain on local resources, such as hospitals. For example, there are often a limited number of hospital beds. What impacts are there at the national level? In the UK, many of these local costs are national issues because the NHS provides healthcare in the UK. Disease can affect the country's spending, for example, spending on facilities such as hospitals, spending on treatments, or spending on drugs. If fewer people are working while receiving treatment, this may affect a country's economy. What impacts are there on a global level? On a global level, the incidence of non-communicable diseases in a country could be significant enough to reduce its development. For example, in some countries, medicines and treatments are very expensive and low-income families may be unable to afford them. This could cause a reduced workforce if they are unwell and unable to work, and this could limit the economy. Make sure that you're familiar with the costs of disease at a local, national and global level, as you may be asked about them in the exam. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there.